Okay, so we, so far, we just created three divs. Well, actually four. The first one containing the entire postcard. The next one, the postcard header, the body, and the footer. If you build your website, you're going to see the three divs here on the top. And the big one, it's the white one. You can use the inspector like this. And that will show you the three divs in your website. And it will highlight them for you when you hover on them. So that's good. You see, put your eyes here on the top and you can see how it's highlighting them. And they look all with red dashed or dotted uh, borders because we said on the CSS at the beginning of the exercise, we added this amazing trick that will help us highlight every element normally with a border. Now we're going to work on the first part of the postcard like because well not the first part the first content i guess this is not how it's supposed to look in the end but this is how we want to make it look right now with a title and a image remember that by default html looks like a word document so if you include a title and, a, and an image they will go on top of each other like in microsoft word the same thing and then we can make them on the same row, but right now we can't, or on the same, uh, yeah, on the same row, let's say, or at the same level. So we're gonna get into the postcard header because that's the first, this one is the postcard header. Remember that in the first one, we're gonna add a link, the heading on the right and in the image, and then in the bottom one, if you go back to the strategy, I think I have the strategy somewhere here. Let's see. I think it's the previous one. Or the next one. Yes, in this one, this is the strategy. So we have the image, the, the heading, and then we have to wrap them in a div. Then we have to wrap these two in a div and this put these two in divs as well. So that's how we want to do it because we want to make sure that every time that you want to have one div on the side of the other, you need to wrap them in a bigger div. So starting with the header, we're going to include an image. Well, actually, it's not an image, right? First is the heading. So the heading, an H1, because I only have one heading. So we can assume that it's going to be the biggest heading. So we're going to add the H1. And we're going to say what we want to say there. That is my postcard in this case. And then the image. Here's the URL for the image in the instructions. It's this one here. So let's just copy that. You can paste it here. You can use any URL for any, uh, as long as it ends with .png or .gif or .jpe. There are lots of extensions for images. PNG is just one of them. You can even you can even look in Google for. I don't know, cute dogs. And then it'll show you a bunch of cute dogs. You can right click and copy the image address. And if you, this one doesn't end in a JPG, but I guess maybe this one, let's see. This one works. No, actually this one doesn't, doesn't have a JPG either. We can view the file in the actual website, and now it does. You see, this URL ends in a JPG, so with this one you can use, and we can have a, a dog here. Let me show you how it looks with the dog. I'm going to build, and that's our dog right there. It's a lot bigger than the postcard. We can fix that as well, by the way, but we're not going to do it because we're going to put not the dog, but the, the logo. Let's build again, and here is my postcard and the logo. Ah, wow, then I got a test, of course. And after testing, it will show that all tests have passed. And then we can go to the next one. 